And to walk us through this development, let's bring in an economist, Oladotu Mabinuri, who joins us live in the studio. Good to have you join us. Good to be here once again. Good so afternoon. basically, um, it, it does seem as if the presidency is trying to use one stone to um, kill two birds, two birds yeah. which is achieving food security as well as engaging young persons, creating jobs for young persons, because this particularly is targeted at young persons. Yes, Talk to us about um, your reaction on this, especially from the economic standpoint. Well, uh, as we have seen, if you check um, our GDP, you realize that the largest contributor to our GDP is uh, agriculture, contributing almost 5% to our GDP. And um, before now, I think in the 60s, we have agriculture contributing over 60% of our revenue. But it is right now, uh, our revenue from agriculture has really uh, gone down, where um, oil is accounting to over, eight, uh, over 90% of our revenue. So it's a huge problem. And um, uh, if you check agriculture also in Nigeria, you realize that um, it accounts for over 70, over 35 percent of on of our employment, which means that if agriculture can be well uh, uh, catered for or settled, then our unemployment crisis will be will be, will be solved. Uh, will be reduced to a very large extent. The case where we're having 33.3 percent unemployment rate is it's totally unacceptable. It's totally unacceptable anywhere in the world. So if agriculture can actually be taken care of, then I think uh, we we'll move we we'll move ahead. But uh, as an economist, I would um, say that. Um, what government is doing right now is actually a very good development, but there are other ways of, there are other things to address other than doing this. Because like, and, um, and, and, and I was going to go there because yeah. um, this really is, is an, a bit to make agriculture attractive, attractive to yes. young persons. Yes. And I was going to, just before, I was going to ask you if this is enough because you really need young persons to come into this sector to make it more viable. Mm -hmm. But creating uh, um, farm estates in yeah. different in different territorial districts of the country, is that enough to make it more attractive to young persons? Not at all. Not at all. There are other things to do because if you check uh, our uh, farm to, I mean, farmer to land yield in Nigeria or uh, own ownership in Nigeria, an average farmer in Nigeria owns 0.5% uh, acre of land compared to the United States where we have a farmer owning over 400 acre of land on the average. Mm -hmm. So you realize that the asset, because we are still involved in, in um, a traditional way of, of farming. So what government should have done majorly is the existing one we have. What, what are we doing to get that, to get them out of the woods in terms of creating assets for this out over 40 percent of farm produce in nigeria don't make, don't find their way to markets proximity to market is also not there so why can't government become the largest buyer or the, large, the largest uh, consumer of farm produce that wherever you are in the world in the, in the country once your product is produced the government will buy from them and then sell to sell to the final consumer so if that is not uh, is not handled and you are creating more farms I think uh, that, 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 that will not take us to where we are going. The existing one, for instance, in the case of storage, even if they are producing and we still have the same story that, sorry, problem that we have in the country, we are still not going anywhere. So let us create an atmosphere for the existing one before we are adding to it. Mm -hmm. So they are saying, okay, they want to make it more enticing for, for, uh, for youth. There are other ways government can make this thing enticing for you rather than creating land. Because, you know, and again, if you also look at the, uh, the history of uh, in the last five years or so, where government has come in different, um, different forms of taking, of getting land in terms of uh, coming from Ruga, from cow colonies. And so it has to a very large extent sent some negative messages to people. So anything that comes to taking land for people, people will start, will start agitating. Mm -hmm. So I'm more, I'm more or less like seeing this that it will, it will, in fact, it will be greater with some restrict from for, uh, with some um, uh, restriction from some from some land owners mm -hmm. that why are you I, taking our land for pe for some people? Agriculture it should be a private uh, establishment. If anybody wants to go into it, we know the case of uh, William, um, what is this? I can't tell William. So one, one young guy, 39 year old Nigeria, 40 year old now, who has the largest farm in a uh, rice farm in, a, in, a, in Nigeria and it's a private establishment. Uh, absolutely, but government is doing this in a bit to encourage people because some people will tell you that look, one of the biggest issues we have is acquiring land. land. And no, so no, I'm people, actually not against land, it. So I'm not against work. it. But I want to talk about this um, when it comes to livestock. We're doing this now for farming. Yeah. And what about livestock? Because government has also indicated that this might also be the case for livestock. Yeah, because I think is, it which, has which, everything in, in which is all the ranching. Home. And how, how does this work for us when we, ha if because if, people have been saying, look, we need to look at ranching as the alternative to um, grazing routes. Yeah. Again, back to economy. If we have farm estates and we have you know ranching. ranching. How 
how does that help us in terms in, of the in the, in the long run, in fact, let me say even in the immediate uh, um, uh, term, it will solve the other, uh, other farmer uh, crashes. But my own instance, well, what I'm just particular about is usually of, uh, of, of land. You know, the, the tension has been so much, uh, the, the atmosphere has been heated to the point that any people, anytime people hear the word, want to take land for this, for that, they start agitating. Mm -hmm. So if government can actually do with all sincerity of purpose, and people actually give them the support, it's a very wonderful and very fantastic. Uh, I, I um, guess perhaps um, that's why the state governors have been involved. The state governors yes, for instance, the Kogi State has given over absolutely. 700 hectares of land, Ogun State, state gave over 100 absolutely. hectares of land, so and if that can be followed true, it, it will take us to where we are going. We'll see how this plays out. It's one thing to formulate policies, another thing to implement and Is implement rightly uh, and get the um, the 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 Don't idea to get the for trust it, of people back for this to, to, to actually to, to for the implementation Thank to work. Thank you so much for talking to us as always, economist Olado Tomabinori. You are most welcome. It's a pleasure to be here once again.